Following their visit to the Msikawa Bridge project last week, EXAC Board of Directors proceeded to Tsolo to visit the Mzimvubu water project. Uh, here we came because the board wanted to see um, just directly what the progress in terms of the project work looks like and indeed uh, there has been a confirmation of all of the advanced infrastructure work that is taking place within uh, the project and today uh, confirmation is being made that the entire dam uh, area has now been pegged and being pegged means that indeed with the approval of the actual construction process the dam will now take off. We have now started the Mzimvubu project We've broken it down in stages on the way we're going to build this, this project. We are deep in stage one, which is the access roads. And we have started stage two as well, which is the actual Ntabalenga Dam. So the dam construction itself, that's around five years, let's call it construction period. And that for Ntabalenga Dam, and while we are building Ntabalenga Dam, we look at the planning and implementation of stage three, which is the bulk pipeline, and stage four, which is the hydroelectrical power. So. That's the total picture of the project, and those are some of the timelines that we're working on. There's been identification of where things are going to happen. They took us through in terms of understanding that. So uh, there's an access road to, to get here, that which was not there before. So preparations are in place uh, for, for, for the material that is going to be utilized for the dam to be ferried <coughs> to the place. The Department of Water and Sanitation told board members they've built internal capacity to build the second tallest dam in South Africa. This is one of the best model projects in government in South Africa. Everything in this department is in-house, so we've got our own in-house engineers who do the designs. So they've done everything. We've got our planning, in, planning unit as well, which does everything. All the project management is internal, environmentalists are internal, social facilitation is internal. So everything that you'll think about in a project management unit, in this project, everything is internal. So we do everything from being the designers to mopping the floor. So anything you find in a project, a life cycle, it's internal in this project. However, we do make sure that the community benefit. So we do leave some vacant spaces and posts which we can absorb the local laborers so that at least they learn some skills and are able to be absorbed within this, the, the project and the department. All the professionals as well that we have in the project are from the local, the environmentalist is from here, the lab technician is also from here and some of the engineers that we have on site are all community members. So we made sure to ensure that as a department we don't bring all our resources here but we try to make sure that at least we get from around the area. So we've got, we took our labor force from Mshonjo and Elundini so both municipalities have been benefiting in that sense. We will be treating the water just slightly downstream. There's a water treatment works that will be built in conjunction with the dam uh, as stage two so that when we distribute water from this dam we are distributing portable water to the municipalities and the water boards um, that makes it cheaper for them and the indigenous population that use water from this uh, system. Once complete, the Mzimvubu water project will benefit residents in three district municipalities, Oartambo, Alfredo and Jokar. Well, to think of it that for many years we've been talking about this project. Um, finally, the project uh, is starting, the construction is on site. If anything important we can take from the project are two things. One, the dam that is being uh, built in this village is going to feed people uh, in various towns across different parts of the province. And that's how interconnected we are as humanity. The second one is this project is a very old project in so far as when it was muted. It now uh, only is beginning to be, to, be, to, be, to, be, to, be, to be started. And that tells you that we need to help people to understand that development does take place. As the board, we, we're very happy to see the fruits of what UXX started years ago. Um, I think when the project was started by the institution, we didn't realize Uguti, it will take this long. But having been on site, we then see oh, there is progress that is happening. One then uh, is praying that the project is, is going to work according to timelines so that we still celebrate while we are still here as the board to see the fruits of, of what XX started years ago coming to life.